Hello Divi people, it's Andrew Palmer here from Elegant Marketplace Learning and I just thought I'd give you a quick tip on how to get your social meta and your featured images displayed correctly within the social mediums. Uh, that includes all of them, not just Facebook. Uh, it's a question often asked in all the Facebook groups that we've got, DTU, Divi Evolve, um, and the various others that are out there. So basically with all-in-one SEO, uh, it comes out of the box and all you get is a couple of settings. So you have to go to your feature manager and you activate the various things that you want, like XML sitemaps, that's great for Google, um, social meta, etc., etc. So just go through those settings if you've got all-in-one SEO. Yoast and other SEO plugins have this as well. Uh, once you've activated that, go back to your social meta. And you just uh, use these settings because these are the settings I use, so they must be right and they're working for us, so it's good news. Uh, I use the all-in-one SEO title and description that I've already put into general settings. I give my site a name anyway and I upload a default home image uh, and I change that occasionally if I really want to uh, because I don't put a featured image in the home page itself. I do put a featured image in most pages uh, and I've got a choice here that I can put various things like first attached image, 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 first image in content, etc, etc. You can see them all there. Uh, but I say I want to have my image source uh, a featured image and I, that's my default image. Uh, I check here and I upload that through my media uh, library as well and I've always got a default image if I've forgotten to put an image into my post or page. I don't put a default image width, but uh, my defaults are always 1200 by 600 and they seem to display perfectly well. I then put in all my social profile links, say it's an organization, this is who we are. I do put a Facebook admin ID, I've taken it out just for the purposes of this video. Uh, and I do put a Facebook, Facebook app ID in there as well. And you can uh, just research that on Facebook, how to put your app ID in there. And we've got a website, it's not a blog particularly, and I just leave everything else unchecked apart from posts and pages because this is what I want my metaphor. And I've also got uh, products ticked there as well because obviously we're an e-commerce web shop. And I put in my Facebook publisher as well. So I say I want my post object type is an article because that's what a post is. My pages object type is obviously a, it's a website because that's what it is. And obviously I want to put in my products as well. I put in the summary of my default Twitter card. This is who we are. Show the Twitter author, uh, author and I've also got my Twitter domain and then I simply go update options and when I've done that I know that uh, I've all, I'm all set up and I need to check that so what I've done here I've just put in elegantmarketplace.com let's put an HTTPS there because we are uh, we do have an SSL certificate I'm going to fetch the new scrape information and there will be errors there because uh, the type website is invalid because we've got some um, admins there but don't worry about that for the moment, but it displays perfectly well, as you can see. So that's all, and that's it. It's very, very simple. That's how you get your default or your featured image and your meta, ta uh, your meta description tags into Facebook by using an SEO plugin. Hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching.